Gotta behave. Mama's gotta go work. Gotta get our drinks. Riding through my city with that dash bag. Riding through my city with that dash bag. Running through my city with that dash bag. Running through my city with that dash bag. Riding through my city with that dash bag. Hello guys, Grandma Dasher checking in again. This is gonna be just a short dash. Not 20 deliveries. I decided I'm just gonna go out for a little bit tonight. Just see what I could do in an hour, maybe two hours max. So I say. The weather's just looking pretty crappy now. I think there's a pending storm coming in tonight. So I'm hoping things are busy. So we are going to get on the road without further ado. Oh yeah. <laughs> hmm. Eighth of a tank of gas. That don't look too good. Let's get gas and let's get on the road. Okay, we got we got our gas. My lord. Gas is going up. I swear it's 10 cents more than last week. But anyhow, I really wasn't planning on dashing today or doing any kind of gig work. But we'll go see what kind of money we can make. Shop and deliver a dollar general. Stay in the right lane. Four dollars fifty cents. I believe it was two items going 2.9 miles. Mile, the destination is on your right, 1118 uh, Fayette Avenue. I really wasn't planning on taking it. I really normally wouldn't, but it gets the ball rolling. It is short mileage. I was already almost two miles, well, maybe a mile and a half from where I took the order and getting to the store. And I will see you there. Bus. Um, Starburst Air Snacks. This is Omega. There's snacks all over the place. So he ended up accepting these as substitutions to bags. That is it. That was pretty nuts. There was somebody in front of me that was trying every card in his wallet to get a $21 order to not be declined. And one of his cards said that, oh, they said this card's locked. So this order's taking longer than what I thought. I thought, 10, 15 minutes, knock this out. Yeah. Um, now, my route is literally two minutes away, two minute drive. Burger King to go 6.1 miles. Are you kidding? There are people, there are dashers out there who would take that order. Oh, and all the lights are coming on. Yes, it's 8 o'clock at night. I'm doing a late, well, I'd say, even, I'm doing an evening dash. It gets dark around now. It's still a little bit light. Days are getting longer. 
but there's people that would take that order but I'm not a clone and I am thinking of switching over if my dash ends and I can't log back in just so be it I thought about logging in the spark but I know it's getting that time it's all going to be shop and delivers I don't like to shop for myself at Walmart let alone somebody else I rarely do shop and deliver orders I'm thinking I'm going to switch over to um, let's see what's going to happen here up oh, yep it's gray I took a gamble and lost I was going to go over to pay by time so what I made a whole four dollars and fifty cents for shits and giggles let's see what um Uber Eats got see if Uber Eats is any better near McDonald's that's local it's a hot spot for Uber Eats maybe Uber Eats will save the night I'll see you back when I get an order oh I just got one Uber Eats is chiming in 6.2 miles $8 7.11 Okay, we're going to take it. I shit you not, an add-on for $10.36 for additional 4.8 miles at the McDonald's, which is in the same freaking gas station that the 7-Eleven is. I have an Uber Eats order. go figure when my when I'm not filming had an epic moment the 7-elevens orders a large order bag broke on me and two liter bottles will pop one everywhere should I warn the customer they might have want to wait before trying to open them mm, a little shaken up Place is like super dark. It's like I use my flashlight. Why don't people turn on their lights? I'm gonna go ahead and take this. So it's hard to see me because it is nighttime. It's after 9 p.m. I'm a little over an hour and a half in. 
but I just got stacked by Uber Eats. One of one order for McDonald's at six bucks, and then the other one is at KFC right next to it, and that one's like twelve bucks. So it's gonna be like eighteen bucks for about a total of eleven miles. Not too bad, and I think after that I am done and I am going home. I'll have to wait to give you my total so all my tips are in. A little longer than a few minutes late. So I'm on my way home, right? I just did my last drop off. And in about an hour I should have all my tips in. But I wasn't recording at the time. But I saw a police cruiser on my way out of town and I heard freeze I'm like oh boy something's going on that is my only thing about late night deliveries there's some shady shit that goes on now that was in that college town that I mentioned all the time where California University Pennsylvania is. I will see you when I get home and cars pulled over in shady places. Well that's a business that is closed this late at night. Don't know what they're doing pulled over. But anyhow. So this night turned out to be a much better night than what I expected. On Uber Eats I made $55.97. And then on DoorDash I made a measly $4.50. So we add that up and we got $60.47. And according to my apps, I was working two hours and a half. So I ended up making, just wait till you see this, $24 and we'll say 19 cents. Now that is before expenses. And this is what they consider a typical slow Tuesday. There was nothing too slow about that. Yes, Uber Eats saved the day. And I do thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing. Hitting that thumbs up button. I'm trying to get to 1K subscribers and get my watch time hours. Love you all. Riding through my city with that dash bag. Riding through my city with that dash bag.